It's a glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. Hard facts. All right, Lagos. Let's talk about cooking. <laughs> I can hear some of you loading your credits to call me and shout. I've touched the anointed. <laughs> now, here's what we're talking about cooking today, right? As you know, I've been on leave. And during my leave, I got to catch up with a few people, right? Now, one of my friends told me something that stunned me to my marrow. It shook me, shook me. She's married. Her and her husband both work. So she, ha- she works, she goes to work. Her husband works, he goes to work. They both work, as in they both have careers, right? They don't have children yet. They have been married for a couple of years. They're not ready to have children just yet. Um, so they're not really trying, you know. So they're just a couple living life, baby boy, baby girl, and working and supporting each other. Last Tuesday, we met up after she closed from work. I was having um, drinks with some of our other friends and she stopped by. And she said, oh, I can't stay long. I have to go home and cook for my husband. And she left. Uh, oh, oh, she mentioned that uh, she was going to go and cook a goosey soup. Now, fast forward the next day, Wednesday. So we hung out on Tuesday. Wednesday, she stops by my house, right? After work. I'm on leave now, so I did house. After work, you know, she comes to my house. We hang out for a bit. And then she says that she has to go home and cook. I was now teasing her now. I was now like, ah, Master Chef. Hey, hey, God of Ramsey. Mama di mama. (laughs) What are you cooking this time? Should I carry my bowl and follow you, you know? And she said, a goosey again. I was like, ah. No be a goosey cook yesterday. That one don't finish, na na na. And she was like, ah, No. My husband doesn't eat old soup. I was like, eh? She now told me how she cooks every day because her husband doesn't eat food that is not fresh. If the food enters freezer, you don't touch him again. He won't accept the food that she has rewarmed. If she microwaves it, if she warms it with stove, she no go chop, he no go chop up. She was telling me this. I was shocked. I couldn't process it. But as we started to talk about it with more of our friends, it turns out that this happens quite a lot in a lot of homes. Every woman I spoke to about it knew some married woman who was cooking every day in her house because her husband rejects old food. And like I said, it doesn't matter whether they have a freezer or not. Whether freezer day or whether freezer no day, it doesn't matter. So I say, ah, when I come back from leave, let me bring this matter to you people. So that you people will hear me, follow me and hear what I've heard. Follow me and see what I've saw. I really want to know what you think. 0700-993-993-993. Do you make your wife cook fresh food every day? Does your husband make you cook new food every day? If you're a man, what are the reasons you make your wife cook fresh food every day? If you are a woman... How do you feel about cooking fresh food every day for your husband? Now, remember that I said that my friend left us while we're hanging out to go and make a goosey soup. The next day, she left my house and said, oh, she's going to go make a goosey soup again because her husband doesn't like to eat food after he has eaten it the first time. So if you cook a goosey soup today and you don't enter freezer, the husband will not eat it again. It has to be fresh. And so I, 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 um, I, I, I wonder what your thoughts are on that, uh, on that story. If you are a man, what are the reasons you make your wife cook fresh food every day? What are the reasons you cannot eat food that has entered freezer? If you're a woman, how do you feel about cooking fresh food every day? Zero seven zero zero nine nine three. 993-993. Now, as usual, uh, for the women... 
uh, please call me via WhatsApp. If you're a woman, call me on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is available for you. Everybody else can send a message to WhatsApp. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. 080-959-75805. Women only. If you're a man and you call WhatsApp, I'll block you so you can't call WhatsApp ever again. Or you can't WhatsApp us ever again. So don't call WhatsApp if you're male. If you're male, call us on 700 993 Nine nine three nine nine three. Benny Six is an otter. Benny Six, how are you? I'm fine. Are you? I'm very well. Do you make your wife cook fresh food every day? Uh, me never marry wife. Who? Oh, you never marry. But when you marry, if you do them, ah uh, no no, that man is a selfish man. The man they weekend now. What happen? Every day, no no, it's not it's not it's not it's not work for me. It's not good. Now. Why not? Why is it not good? Uh, it's it's stressful. Even as I'm, I'm a bachelor, I'm here to marry, get to marry. Mm-hmm. But to, to cook is not easy now. Uh, even if I won't do no do self, I know how it will take me to do. Uh, mm. Too much. That is too. It's too stressful now. It won't kill the woman. Mm. Mm. At least uh, sometimes I eat food, uh, soup of three days, four days. I eat. So okay, when I get married, that's because of okay, I don't want to be eating seafood, and I will ask her to be cooking every day. No, it's not good now. Okay. Be considerate. All right, be considerate, Benny Six says. Do you agree with Benny Six? Swan Queen on Twitter says, I'm of the opinion that if the wife sees nothing wrong with it, then it's fine. However, no man should order a woman to cook fresh food on a daily. If he's bent on being served fresh food, he knows his way to the kitchen. RG is on the line. I wonder if RG uh, feels the same way as both of you. 99.3, RG, how are you? Good, ma. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, I say this year I have talking because like we, my mother cook every day the time which the bonus because yeah. the bonus in Aba. Okay. You know, we are eating every day. My mother is not no, uh, only weekend on Friday or Saturday that mm. I cook two days soup. They are family. Mm. Uh, no matter we get fish that time, my mm. mother hate uh, two days, my pa hate two days full soup. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's not a good thing. It's not a fridge day, uh, gas day. Mm. Within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you already cook soup fish. Mm. So she they cook soup every day? Yes. Uh? Yes. So um, my mother. Okay. Okay. Oji, thank you for calling me. Uh, let's talk to more people. 99.3. Good afternoon, Sandra. Good afternoon, sir. What's your name? Ah, sorry about that. If you can, please call back. 99.3, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? Anthony. Anthony, what do you yes. think about... Uh, d- first of all, are you married? Yes, I'm oh. a married man. Okay, does your wife cook fresh father, food every day? No, she doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you well, think of people who, who uh, prefer fresh food every day? There's nothing wrong about it because there are people, you know, there are people that have some different kinds of ill health and it's of people's choice. So it, it just, it's just about people's choice mm. or people's best. So it, it, it's not wrong mm. cooking every day. Mm. There is nothing bad about it. Okay. Would you, can you cook every day for your me, wife? Yes, I do. I do. I do have my wife. I cook. No, no, no. I, I mean, like, if your wife wanted fresh food every day, would you do it? Would you cook it? She will get it. Okay. All right. Thank you for calling yes. and sharing with me, Anthony. I appreciate it. 99.3. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right. There's no one there. 99.3. Hello. Oh, my friend. Hello. Hello? Ah, sorry about that. If you can, please call back. We have our first call from WhatsApp. I'm hoping it's female. Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Ade from, from Ebutemeta. Welcome, Ade. We are married. If, if my husband insists on eating fresh food, every, that means he's going to get a cook. And then your friend, mm. maybe the mother cooks or sells food. That's why he's used to eating fresh food every day. Hmm. That is my own uh, opinion. Okay. All right, Ade. Thank you for calling to share it with me. I appreciate it. Let's talk to more people. 99.3, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, Sandra. My name is Abimbala. Calling from Abimbala, welcome. Uh, I want to contribute to the program. Yes, of I course. Mean, That's why you've called. Go ahead. I'm a married man. Let me contribute. I mean, let me contribute to this. I mean, to the young girl. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 
Catch that. What did you say? Okay, what I'm saying is, mm. is you said, if your wife is speaking, then it's a problem. But it's not a bad image. And if it's a code, it's just extending. And then you go out there and you reach 3,000, 5,000 feet. And then you give your wife 3,000 and a half of money. You don't know what you're buying outside this cylinder. Why are we having to have a disease and most of the things you're having? It's because we cannot control where you're reaching. I'm a good of men and men to me. They are dancing with the wife to cook for you. You know, wife can be able to cook and then be just dancing. That's a wrong image. I see. Okay. I didn't quite catch a lot of what he said, but I just let him go on because I was hoping that some of you who are listening uh, were able to catch some of what he said. Musa Sunday on Twitter says, Sandra, every home is run based on how convenient it is to the family. Whatever is agreed and convenient is what the couple should adopt. If your wife agrees to cook fresh food every other day, so be it. But it's not every other day, though. It's every day. We saw her on Tuesday she made a goosey soup. Wednesday, she left us to go and make another egusi soup. Shenwo Lota says, women that cook daily uh, then were housewives, not career people. This submission thing is taking too far. I'm sure men like this will still let their wives cook in pregnancy and cannot cook for their children. Emeka Ilegbune says, if that's what the husband wants, but for me, I like good food. I am married for 15 years and I also cook. The guy should also learn how to cook. I cook very well. If you just joined the show, hello, I shared a story with you uh, about a friend of mine uh, when I was on leave who, you know, were hanging out together and she had to leave us and go home to go and cook, right? And she told us she was cooking a goosey soup. The next day, she came to my house and we hung out and she had to leave. And I was like, uh, uh, so soon. She said yeah, that she has to stop by the market and buy things and cook a goosey soup. I said, ah, maybe just yesterday cook a goosey soup. She said, eh, the husband doesn't like eating food that has entered freezer. It has to be fresh or he will not eat it. And I was like, eh, and I thought it was a one-off thing, you know, just her. But it turns out it's a, <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot of women. There's a woman that knows a woman who cooks every day. Fresh food every day. I'm not talking about warming food. I'm not talking about, you know, making beans or making, like, maybe noodles. Or make, I'm talking about, you know, if it's soup, you make a fresh one every time your husband wants to eat soup. If it's soup, if it's stew, you make a fresh one whenever he wants to eat it. Even if it's, if it's beans, you make a fresh one. If it's yam porridge, you make a fresh one. Whatever it is, you make a fresh one. And I said, I want to know why. So it's a good thing that men are calling me today. Because if you're one of those men who requires a fresh meal every day, why? What are the reasons? If you're a woman whose husband insists that you must cook a fresh meal every day, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about doing it? Hello. Hello. How are you? What's your name? I'm okay. cool. Hello. Hello. Turn your radio yeah. off. What's your name? I'm from Ibeji. I'm out of it. Okay, go ahead. Ah, uh, Sandra. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether that one is living in bondage. Or... Okay. Yes, because it's not possible. Though some people, they overdo this. Uh, some of them will form. Uh, I don't do this. Like, some people will come. Uh, I don't want uh, old this, old that. Even in the canteen, some of those canteens, they don't say everyday food. And when you go there, you, you say, I need fresh something. You, it's not possible. Let them not just uh, tell us lie. It's not possible. Yeah. It's not possible that she's cooking every day. Is that what you're saying? It's not po It's not possible. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Unless the person want to be drinking tea, uh -huh. even the tea itself is it a uh, fresh as every day? If you want to be drinking tea, maybe you open a new tea, you turn all of them and prepare it once. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, All right. Thank you very much for calling me. Uh, we have uh, somebody else who uh, tweeted at us and says, uh, talk is cheap for those men who are saying they see nothing wrong about cooking. It's sad how some persons have become slaves to marriage, to love, to inconsiderate spouses. I'm feeling like a father whose daughter is under enslavement. Adekno Ju says, for me, I don't like food kept in the freezer, but I can eat as far as four days soup. So, th so far, my wifey kept keeping it fresh by warming it daily. Cooking of fresh soup every day is very stressful. I cannot allow her to go through that. Hmm. Uh, Otwani Ufwama says, the man in question must be a perfectionist and maybe during upbringing, that's how they ate in their family. I'm sure the lady saw signs of this before the wedding. If it's stressing her, which I'm sure it might, she should talk to him. But personally, I feel that uh, it is much and I will not uh, do it. Actually, that's the funny thing. When they were single, um, you know, they used to go out all the time and eat, you know. They used to go to restaurants. Anything she has in her house, he will eat, you know. But as soon as they married, he just changed it for her. You must cook every day. Now, don't forget, these are two people who are working. So, for instance, I'm working in Nigeria Info. My husband is working in Nigeria Info. Every day when we finish show, two of us will, will drive home in our different cars. You know, maybe we're doing different shifts or something. And we'll drive home in our different cars in traffic. And then when we get home, I'll not have to start cooking fresh soup. After cooking fresh soup the previous day. Um, and I want to know why, for some men, that is okay. How is that okay? Joy Forever says, Sandra, you know if you try with my wife, but I know who love fresh soup daily. It is not even economically wise. Anyway, we can't run their home for them. Let us not change the peace in their home. Adeda uh, Shaun says, my wife cooks on a daily basis due to the fact that her mom sells food and she's used to fresh food. Coupled with the fact that she does her own business so she can program herself. She made me get used to fresh food. Hmm, interesting. Let's take another call. 99.3, hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? Ah, sorry about that. Call back if you can. But you know that cooking for business is different for is different from cooking for home consumption. You know? There, there are reasons why chefs don't like to cook in their house. Or chefs, you know, pre prefer when somebody else does the cooking for them. Because they spend all day cooking. So personally, I spend all day talking at work. When I get home, I don't say anything to anybody. I just want to press my phone or watch film and sleep and cool my head down, right? But people meet me on the road and they're, oh, Sandra, Nigeria, ah! Sandra, do you know that the politics of the country, eh, eh, when I meet you on the road, I don't want, I've talked to you about politics for five hours. I don't want to talk politics with you when, I, when you see me in a supermarket or in the market or in a salon. No, no, I just want to talk about Z World, you know, what's happening on the screen, you know? Ezala is in Surulere. Hello, Ezala. Thanks for calling. Thank you. Good evening, Sandra. Good evening, Ezala. Um, the topic uh, uh, you are talking about concerning mm. a woman who cook every, every day. day. Do you make your wife cook every day? Um, let's not go to my wife first. I want to explain something. Mm. I'm sure you will agree with me that uh, fresh food, fresh soup every day is more sweeter than... It's sweeter than the one in the fridge. Uh, if you put it in the freezer, it's the same thing. The same thing? It's the same thing. I'm talking about the, one of the caller say that uh, such a thing is not possible. It's possible. I have, I have seen that. You know, my wife don't cook every day for me. But I have seen a woman mm. who cook fresh food for the husband every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. So on one day, I told the, the man, your wife will break down one day. So something like that, I have seen it. It's argument uh, which uh, most of us concur anyway, that uh, the day you cook soup, that particular day, the, it's more, it's sweeter than the, the ones uh, you put in the refrigerator or power freezer, as the case may be. Is it? But, uh, Mm, yes, yes, yes. I have, I have tested it. It's, it's not the same. My wife puts in the in the free in the freezer uh, every now and then. It's not the same. It's not always the same. But um, having a woman to cook every day, taking care of the house, washing, cook 
every day, take care of the children. Oh, my sister, no, 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 it's, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Thank you. Thank you for calling. I appreciate it. Uh, we've got uh, people who are sending us uh, comments on social media. Uh, Samuel says, I don't think it's a good idea for you to let your wife cook every day, knowing fully well it will be stressful, but it all boils down to individuals. Uh, this one says, I don't eat the same food after a couple of days or weeks. Ifani says, eh, that one's a couple of days or weeks. I say my friend cook egusi soup today. She rush house, go cook a goosey soup tomorrow. She cook on yesterday. Today, she rush house, go cook again. The same goosey soup. Twice. Somebody says, for me, I don't see anything wrong with cooking every day. It only depends on the upbringing of the woman herself. There's nothing wrong with it. It depends on the upbringing of the woman herself. We've got Tolu on the line. Tolu, how are you doing? I'm very well. I find it interesting that people are saying it's a choice and it's how each of the couples decide that they want to run their marriages. But we seem to forget about the fact that there's a social and culturalization that goes on with women in terms of marriage. Once you're married, you're subsumed under somebody else. So if this woman says she doesn't want to cook every day, the next thing is going to be a family meeting. Family will tell her she doesn't cook every day, somebody else will cook for her husband, that she wants that. There's even a Yoruba proverb that says it's the person who cooks that owns the husband. So let's not make it seem like many of these women fully have a choice in choosing whether or not they want to cook for their husbands every day. Mm. Let, let's not make it seem like that because that's not really the case. Mm. And then for someone who has this, is this a man who's helping wash the plates when his wife finishes cooking? Mm. Does he assist in the kitchen? What does he do to make this a couple's thing? What, is it, what does he do to make this about them and not solely about what he wants? Mm. I find this conversation really interesting. And I'm, I'm really fascinated by the fact that Nigerians are saying it's choice when we know that we don't give married women so much choice on many things. I don't know if you saw the conversation on Twitter yesterday mm. about a woman who wanted to cut her hair mm -hmm. and was told she had to get permission either from her father or from her husband. What? Let's not make it seem... Oh, I'll, don't worry. I'll send it to you. Oh. Let's not make it seem like when someone chooses to do something, some of those choices are already not predestined or laid out for them. Mm. Tolu, thank you so much for calling us. We're going to have more calls, uh, take more thoughts. Uh, WhatsApp as well available. Uh, please keep those thoughts coming in. Do you make your wife cook fresh food every day? Does your husband make you cook new food every day? If you're a man, what are the reasons that you, you have to eat fresh food every day? And if you're a woman... How do you feel about having to cook fresh food every day? We're streaming on Facebook, so share your thoughts. Nigeria Info 99.3. Tweet at us at Nigeria Info FM. WhatsApp is available 080-959-75805. And there's definitely, definitely uh, the, the phone number to call 700 0700-993-993-993-0700-993-993-993. This is The Glass Ceiling. I am Sandra Ezekwasili. This is The Glass Ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. hard facts. Win cash. You stand a chance to win 50,000 naira every week on the Just a Minute Game Show. Just call in to any of our shows, The Morning Crossfire, What's Up Like Us, The Sunnyside, and Hard Facts. Answer as many questions as possible within 60 seconds, and we will be giving out 50,000 naira every week. Winners will be announced on Hard Facts with Sandra Ezekwesi Lee. Just a minute. The game show for everyone on your number one station for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. You are about to leave for work, but your driver is late again. Hello? Oga, you don't go believe what you do, Mio. Another time, he runs a red light. Oga, no worry. Road safety, no day. This time, he speeds over a bump. Oga, hey, he be like, say they just put down one day, oh. Why risk losing your car? When you can just change your driver. Same way you can port to Airtel and still keep your number. Make that switch today and enjoy all calls at 11 cobalt per second. Free data on every recharge and double data for three months on the network with the widest 4G coverage.
Airtel, the smartphone network. Football is back, and there are more ways to win on BetKing. With mega odds and the widest market selections ever, you can increase your winnings with an accumulated bonus of up to 225%. Don't have an account? Visit BetKing.com to sign up now and claim a welcome bonus up to 100,000 naira. Stay safe and keep keying. BetKing, playground for kings. Only DSTV brings you the very best football action. With more than 20 live matches any given week from the best leagues in the world. The Premier League, La Liga, Serie A and the Champions League. We're talking Igalo, Salah, Kane, Aguero, Pogba, Griezmann, Messi and Ronaldo. Get a HD decoder, dish and one month compact subscription for only 18,600 Naira. We have the world's best football only on DSTV. Visit the Vento Furniture Showroom today at Ikeja City Mall, Lagos, or Jabi Lake Mall, Jabi, Abuja, or visit www.ventofurniture.com. Think home. Think Vento Furniture. A place where you can win without limits. A place where you get a 100% bonus to stake. A place where virtual is brought to reality. Even more. Even more. A place where you can bet online anytime, even while you're out of data. Register on actionbet.ng. Action bets. Think bold. Take action. Win big. Can you hear that? That is the sound of another app being created, another problem being solved. If you recognize the sound and you're a problem solver, you are the one we're looking for. Can your tech solution improve healthcare, agriculture, fintech, education, or gaming and betting? Sign up for the Hackaholics 2.0 and stand a chance to access funding up to $40,000 and other numerous non-cash benefits. To register, visit hackaholics.webbank.com. Don't miss this opportunity. Let's help you bring your ideas to life. Hackaholics 2.0, connecting worlds, powered by Webbank. Private sector supported us, like Wazubia giving us free airtime to air. That would have cost a pretty penny if we had been paying every day for the program. So I suggest that everybody should come on board. My friends introduced me to it, and my daddy saw it online that they are having class on Wazubia TV. I appreciate Lagos State Government and Wazubia TV for this their program. So given the response, I encourage every child in the SS3 program, and even those that are not in SS3 yet, but want to learn. Please join in. Join us for daily lessons Mondays to Fridays, 2 p.m. on Wazobia TV, UHF 57, Go TV Channel 98, My TV Channel 70, and Star Times Channel 195. Also on Wazobia FM 95.1, 12 noon to 2 p.m. This my radio lesson. You are about to leave for work, but your driver is late again. Hello? Oga, you don't go believe what you do, Mio. Another time. He runs a red light. Oh God, no worry. Road safety, no day. This time, he speeds over a bump. Okay. Hey, he be like, say they just put down one day. Oh. Why risk losing your car when you can just change your driver? Same way you can port to Airtel and still keep your number. Make that switch today and enjoy all calls at 11 cobalt per second. Free data on every recharge and double data for three months on the network with the widest 4G coverage. Airtel, the smartphone network. A place where you can win without limits. A place where you get a 100% bonus to stake. A place where virtual is brought to reality. Even more. Even more. A place where you can bet online anytime, even while you're out of data. Register on actionbet.ng. Actionbet. Think bold. Take action. Win big. Only DSTV brings you the very best football action. With more than 20 live matches any given week from the best leagues in the world. The Premier League, La Liga, Serie A and the Champions League. We're talking Igalo, Salah, Kane, Aguero, Pogba, Griezmann, Messi and Ronaldo. 
Get a HD decoder, dish, and one month compact subscription for only 18,600 naira. We have the world's best football only on DSTV. This, this is the glass ceiling. Glass ceiling. On hard facts. Hard facts. And we're back. I'm Sandra Ezekwasili. Let's take your thoughts. I shared a story with you about a friend of mine who uh, has to cook a fresh meal for her husband every day because he simply refuses to eat anything that has been refrigerated, anything that has gone into the fridge. This is Hard Facts on 99.3 Nigeria Info. Every Wednesday, we bring you the glass ceiling. If it's 4 o'clock, it's, it's time for the glass ceiling. On the glass ceiling, we talk about the different barriers that women face um, when they're just trying to navigate life. You know, the things that women have to deal with simply to live, to breathe. And we talk about how all of these barriers hold them back. So you have this couple, up and coming couple, upwardly mobile, working in Lagos, dealing with Lagos stress, dealing with Lagos traffic. And when they get home, one half of the couple says to the other half, I'm going to cook a meal that you made fresh. I'm not going to eat anything that you uh, have put in the freezer for me because I like my meals fresh. And they're living like that every single day. Now, my friend says it's stressful. It's not like she's not complaining, you know. She says it's stressful. My friend says this is, this is very difficult for her. She's tired. She doesn't want to do it anymore. She doesn't like it. She's frustrated, but her husband is not listening. And whenever she talks about it, people tell her, submit. Be submissive. Keep your home. But she's dying under the stress of it all. Imagine spending hours and hours on a co-bridge or costain, and then you get home and you have to make fresh egusi. 0700 993 993 993. WhatsApp is 080 959 75805. Um, a message here from Noni says, Welcome back, President Sandra. Cooking fresh food every day is not my portion. Last time I checked, my ogre at the top has two hands and can clearly cook what he likes. There are things he cooks better than me, but most things I cook better than him. I will cook soup and put it in the fridge, but he prefers leaving it on the stove and reheating. He can make it last as long as he likes. But that time, he's on his own because I won't eat it if it's older than a few days. Some foods you have to cook from fresh, example starch, but soups you can cook every few days. Any uh, and day old soup is sweeter than fresh, Noni says. Ah, Noni, some people say day old f uh, f soup is not sweet at all. Though. Sandra, concerning cooking every day depends on the family arrangement. Please don't destroy other family because of your own policy. Ah, but I've not said anything, I've not even said a word, I've not shared my opinion on the subject one way or the other. All I've just said is see what is happening somewhere. How wanna see him? So don't come and say that Sandra did anything. Sandra did not do anything. Samuel says that's wickedness. This is the 21st century. Everybody should be engaged in same level, right? I don't marry. I did not marry my wife to cook. I cook while I was single. I can still do that myself. My wife cooks and puts it in the fridge, and I love it. I married a doctor. I cannot stress her. Samuel, thanks for sending your message in. Let the man cook fresh food daily too, as a show of love and support for at least a whole week in each month. If he cannot handle it and misses even one day, then the wife should call for a recess on existing protocols. Big Mike from Okota says. We've got Kenneth in transit. Kenneth, how are you doing? Thanks for calling us. My name is Kenneth. Good evening. Good evening, Kenneth. Thanks for calling. Uh, so a, a caller said that it's not possible for a woman to cook. It is very possible. I, my uncle does that to the wife. And whenever I go there, she's always very happy that I'm coming to assist. This is what he does. He, he eats fresh food every day. Hmm. I'm not saying something like every day. The only food he's likely to repeat is a draw suit. Hmm. And perhaps he takes it at night. He wants to repeat it in the morning. And that's the end. Every day, there must be pot on fire. Wow. Every day. And human has been doing this for God knows, and sometimes I pity her. The truth is, it does exist. In fact, I have two uncles that does that. Wow. Two different people that does that. And wow. the wives, they must be prepared to prepare. Wow. Every day. So it is not a joke. 
they do it. What do you think so about it, man, though? What do you think about that? What do you think about, you know... Is, whenever, whenever I go there and she... I, I'm, I'm, I'm just beating her because whenever I come, she says, Thank God you are here. Come and help me. And then the man will be angry. So if my brother was not here, what would happen? What did I marry you for? <laughs> when he's in the office, he's coming back by six. Hmm. We'll just call. I want to eat concussion rice. Please prepare me concussion rice. Before we run around, run around. When is when is coming tomorrow? He said, "I want to eat vegetable." See, there is no two ways about this. You must do it. And and I wonder, I call and I say, "How do you? I mean, how did you get this form? I know you are my big uncle, but how did you arrive at all of this? Mm. What did he say? You saying? really troubling this woman?" What? And he said, ah, "Are you in my house and you're trying to tell me? Me, I will just keep quiet. But the truth is, it does exist." Kenneth. It is happening to today, to tomorrow. My God. Thanks for calling me. Wow. Imagine that. How, you know, you have restaurants in your house. Hello, baby. <laughs> I can imagine my husband calling me. Hey, baby. <laughs> I want to keep cook or kosher rice. I said, show me your passing mega chicken. Stop at mega chicken and buy it. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's pretty interesting, isn't it? I, 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 I think it's, it's very interesting. You people are strong, oh. Hey, me, that I don't have any kind of strength. Eh? Even to cook once a week, Seb, is stressful for me. It can't be every day. Yeah, um, uh, you go marry second wife. Oh. Hey, <laughs> God. <laughs> because remember, eh, most of these women having to do this thing are also doing other things. In my friend's case, she has a job. Same as her husband. In fact, she works longer hours than her husband. Yet she comes home to cook every day. Her job requires her to travel to different parts of the country. Sometimes she'll go to Abuja today. Tomorrow she'll go to Ibadan. Another day she'll go to Oyo. And most of those days, she comes home from the airport straight inside kitchen to go and cook fresh soup or fresh rice or fresh whatever her husband wants to eat. And then you have other women who, even when they don't have a job, even if they don't have a job that they are going to, taking care of children is a full-time job. They have children to take care of, to clean up after. Now, what about those that now have a job and children? And on top of all of that, you're now cooking every day. And if you say, I get a house help now, I ask my friends about that. And guess what? A man who insists on fresh food every day will usually also insist that his wife cooks it, not a help. Yes, I have another friend who, yes, they have like four helps or six. But husband says, now my wife must cook with your chop and it must be fresh every day. And she works, so she's a working woman, big woman. And whenever we talk about these things, some people are quick to say, oh, it shouldn't matter. These things are trivial. You know, these things are trivial. Let's talk about big things like equality in the workplace or equal pay. But guess what? These so-called little things, they affect the big things. Let me explain. Think about my friend that I told you about. Notice that I said that she had to rush back from work every day because she has to cook. Now, all of you who work in the corporate world, you know that most of the socialization takes place after work or it takes place outside working hours. That's where people form bonds that help them grow in their careers. How much of that socialization can my friend do? Here's another example. We all know that the higher you climb on the ladder, the more work you have to bring home. So as a career person, every minute at home is precious. The less you have to do, the better. Like, how do you think I, I'm ready for... Uh, how do you think I bring you amazing show after amazing show every day? Because I do a lot of research. And a lot of that research, I do it immediately after my show when I get home. So imagine that I get home and instead of researching for what I'm going to talk to you about the next day on Hard Facts, I'm cooking fresh soup every day. Every day. Every day. Imagine that. You have workload from the office. You come home with that. And then you still have to balance out domestic work. 
and you still have to spend precious minutes or hours cooking every day it reduces the time that you can you can spend during your 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 office work you know doing your office work in the house so you're less productive and the less productive you are the less likely you are to get good feedback and get good promotion if i didn't give you a quality show every day i wouldn't have more than six hundred thousand people listening to hard facts because you tune in today and you hear nonsense and you go away and you tell people no don't listen, don't listen to that show it's not nonsense you won't know it's because i'm overstressed I'll spend hours in traffic, I'll get home, I won't do my research, I'll come and give you fake news, fake information, or, or one thing or the other. So it affects, those little things affect big things. These things matter. If, if we are serious about eliminating the economic inequality between women and men, if we truly want women to be successful in the workplace, we have to address the differences in the home. So again, I have to ask, what are the reasons why some men make their women cook fresh meals every day? Are you a husband that makes your wife cook new food every day? What are your reasons? Are you a wife who cooks fresh food every day? How do you feel about it? 0700-993-993-993. Hello, thanks for calling. Hello, Sandra. How are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Chuk Famisola. Good evening. Mm, Chooks, welcome. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, Sandra, as much as I, I don't like the sound of uh, the way uh, men, I mean, uh, some men that is this such habit or such character. But uh, my question is this. Don't you think these attitudes, the, the, the ladies noticed, they knew all these things before, they still got themselves uh, into that, as in they got married to this guy in, when they were dating. In my friend's because case, I, I in, 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 in my friend's case, okay. in my friend's case, when they were dating, he okay. was not like this. We all used to go out and eat. He used to take her out all the time. When he would come to her house to visit, anything she has, whether it's been there for two days in the freezer, he would eat it like that. In his own house, he used to cook. He can cook, oh, by the way. Okay. He can cook, by okay. the way. He has food in his fridge uh -huh. all the time. When they were dating, he would cook for her. But as soon as they got okay. married, bam, he stopped it. Said, you must cook fresh food every day. Then, because I believe uh, if, if, if that starts, if that, if that is beating something, your friend has every right to say, to decide yes or no. I will not even accept this. Or if you want to be cooking, if you want to be eating fresh food every day, then... Let's look for alternative. Uh, Either we have a housemaid, we will play a cook. She will be doing that, and the person will be paid. Okay. Not, uh, so she she it, she yes, told yes. her husband, "I don't want to cook every day." Husband said, "You must submit to me." Husband told in laws. In laws no, came no, and told no, her, "You no, must no, submit no, to your no, husband." No, 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 pastor no, 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 pas no, no, pastor told no, her told her, "You must submit to your husband." When she said, "Okay, let's get no, a cook. We can afford a cook," she said, "No, it must be you. My wife must cook. I must eat my wife's food." And he himself, he, he will not even come and cook. Nope. Uh, no, no, that one, that one is not the, 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 the lady. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. See, eh? uh, well, I'm not saying please. It shouldn't be something that that is, some men who maltreat their wife is not. It's not a, something to be generalized. Uh, it's just a few individuals. I, I didn't well, generalize. I'm telling you one particular story, and I'm asking you know other men who do it. I want to find out why you do it. No, I'm telling you that any other man like you, you, you pointed out this one, mm. that he wasn't doing it before he got married. Mm -hmm. But there are some who does that. There are some even when, there are some, their parents is from even their parents. Mm. Their father did the same thing. Mm. That they don't, that their children have to, uh, 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 as in, uh, inherit such characters or mm. what. Mm -hmm. uh, that they love fresh food or what. There are some, uh, yeah, I've seen, I, I, I've seen I, I, family. And I understand that, you know, you can learn something yeah. from a family. What I want to understand is why in your family that was the practice. Why did your mother have to cook every single day, a fresh meal every single day? Okay, when now, she can warm you, the food me, or she can put it in the freezer, if you have a freezer. Like, okay, I know of a family. Mm. I know of a family. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are up to 10 in number. Okay. Sandra, mm. any, any soup, any pot of soup they cook finishes immediately. Okay. Because of the number of the, uh, the children mm. or because of the number they are in the family. Mm. You see? So that thing makes it, as in the woman is a trader. So anytime, as she is coming back, she knew that 
is either she but she might not be the one cooking it, might be her daughter or what. Mm. But there will always be a fresh food. Mm. Yeah, there but 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 that's an extreme food. case, isn't it? How many how many uh, uh, people today have ten children? That's number one. Number two, in this case, you have a couple that is it's just two of them. They don't have children yet. They don't okay. have children yet. Just two of them. No no kids yet. And then the other people I know about, that, they don't that, have ten that, children. That, that means yeah, that means is is that, that means we are not talking about addiction. That Ad- means we are not talking about addiction. Addiction to fresh you food. Know? Yeah, the person has been addicted to fresh food. Maybe if he doesn't eat that fresh food, he might, he might react or what or what. That's what I'm what I'm saying. If you notice this thing, mm. what if will venture into that marriage? Mm. If, if the person doesn't go, if you know it's addiction or something, mm-hmm. he needs help or there is something they have because some people are addicted to. Or uh, they have to get for one thing or the other. They're addicted to enjoyment. Yeah. Thank you so much for calling. Sandra, why should you bring this type of topic on air? Don't destroy other people's home. That is why you're not married and old age is catching up with you. To Sabi, Duncan Eze says. <laughs> I think Duncan's wife is listening to me. And Duncan's wife is hooking his shirt. Look at you! Look at you! Look at what you're making me do! Ah, we've got another message here. So, uh, it says, Sandra, to be honest, the man is wicked. Uh, I and my wife cook together, and when she cannot cook, I take care of it. Sam from Iba says. Sam, thanks for sending your message in. Uh, we've got, uh, Sandra, what if they are not in the uh, in the city, and what about those in the village? Sandra, you over-report this as if, it's, as if this is a case of enslavement. No, not a good report. Mr. Oga from Lekki. Mr. Oga, I just told the story the way it is. Which is, I over-report it. <laughs> Uh, Sandra, how are you doing? KC from Orile. I'm currently a bachelor, but I'm a chef. I know the stress that cooking demands. Talk more of cooking on a daily basis. So personally, as an aspiring future husband, I won't let my beloved wife undergo that rigorous routine on a daily. Well, good for you. Thanks for sending that message in. We've got uh, another message here. A food that is cooked in the morning is no longer fresh in the afternoon. Are they supposed to cook a new food in the afternoon? Yomi from Berger is asking me. Good question. Uh, another one here says, uh, Sandra, I hope your friend Bright Price is not too much. That's why the husband wants her to pay badly. That guy in a wicked fellow, Yomi from Ota says. All right. Good day, Sandra. I eat whatever my wife presents as a meal and I cook sometimes. But if my wife makes exorbitant demand for food every day, then she'll be prepared to cook fresh meal every day. Marriage is about understanding. Hmm. Thanks for sending your message in. Sandra, I think that any woman who is compelled by her husband to cook every day and she's tired should go and see a reasonable marriage counsellor to explain to her husband that it is an inconsiderate thing to ask her for seeing to ask her for seeing that she is tired of the stress that woman should go and see a reasonable counselor how can a woman be cooking fresh food every day any man who any man who wants such a thing should hire a chef if he's against getting a house help then he has to compromise the idea i think that man should be more considerate I also think that the reason a man would want his wife to cook fresh food every day uh, may be that he's afraid to see the woman rise professionally. Some men are afraid of seeing their wives succeed. It threatens their inner peace. So in that case, this kind of man may be nursing that fear. And this is why he has found a way to stop the upward upward climb of her career. Sandra, I think your friend needs to see a reasonable, certified, and non-religious counselor. I added the last description because many people use religion to manipulate other people. The Bible does not even support this kind of man because he doesn't show love to his wife, seeing that she has told him that she is tired and it's inconvenient. Hmm. Thank you for sending your message in. Let's go to Twitter where we've got Toyo Amoa who says, When they say the heart of a man is desperately wicked, they're not talking about ghosts but humans. There are solutions to this problem. Just get a cook. Alaba Alape says, Sandra, assuming that your friend is working in the banking sector, two things have happened in her family. Two things would have happened in her family. One, either she leaves that job and faces her family, or two, she might have uh, she might have to leave the marriage. And it's like that guy just hit one a wolf money. I don't know what you're talking about. What a wolf money are you talking about? Huh? 
Huh? But uh, yeah, thanks for, for sharing your thoughts with us. Let me take another call. 99.3. Hello. Sorry about that. If you can, please call us back. Uh, we've got uh, 0700 993 Here's a call from a woman. Good to have you on the show. Yeah, good evening, Sandra. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Margaret. Margaret, turn your radio off. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Sorry. You see, when, like you've said it all, and when we talk about, when I say marriage has been overrated, you know, we want to sensitize women that see marriage as the end point of life because the law of life surpasses the law of marriage. They will begin to castigate Margaret because when I contribute on other um, shows on your platform, they will be like, oh, this Margaret is a feminist. Okay, if that's what you tag me, this is total subjugation and the mental slavery for the enemy that oh, she has to submit you said it all me my take is that that man is trying to disenfranchise her he mm. wants to incapacitate her financially that's what he's trying to do mm. he doesn't just know how to do it like outrightly oh stop that job quit that job this mm. is what he's trying to frustrate her so mm. that she can quit the job then stay home and be totally domesticated so that he can stop you you see that is the problem men here that's the word they have in their ego you understand? I'll tell them to the face. You cannot put me in that, in that situation. If I'm your friend, I don't know what marriage thing is all about. So she shall, they've not even had kids. I don't know why she cannot even, for me, she should walk out of that marriage because she's already, she's frustrated. She's frustratedly married. She's not happily married. She's frustratedly married. That's a fact. All right, okay. Margaret. Thank you for calling us. Margaret says she's frustratedly married. Okay, that's a new one. Someone says, uh, Sandra, women are just used like slaves in this part of the world was he eating fresh food every day while growing up why not employ a chef this is wickedness of the soul we've got uh, rebel against injustices who says i've seen a man who demands uh, that from his wife and the wife did not like it the only thing that can warrant that is if one the woman is a housewife and the only way she gets extra money from the husband is by cooking every day two she enjoys cooking we've got uh, more messages coming in on twitter at nigeria info fm clement says this man is a really wonderful individual he's been really helpful especially in the days of oh no that's for a different post entirely okay <laughs> Uh, Olua Ben says, hmm, lots of thoughts on this. Personally, I'm not a fan of such policy. However, for the sake of homes under the scenario and circumstances peculiar to certain personalities, if there is peace and it's okay by the chef, then thumbs, thumbs up to them, especially the woman. All right, Olua Ben, thank you for sending your message in. We've got uh, another one here. Sandra, you should know that men eating fresh food every day belong to a certain religion okay i don't know that and i like to learn things every day so what religion do they belong to can you share further can you clarify shan says some men marry slaves not wives i didn't marry my wife to cook i cooked when i was single i'll still do that myself uh, my wife cooks and she puts in the fridge and i love it I married a doctor. I cannot stress. I think I've taken that message before. Alan Jude says, Welcome back, Sandra. It was when I was very small. My mother did it because we were many in my family. She cooks today. We'll finish it tomorrow. She'll make another one. But now I am married and my wife cooks fresh food every two days. Good evening. Thanks for sending your message in. Uh, another message on Twitter. Lots of messages on Twitter. Let me take a call before you say I'm not taking your calls. 99.3. Hello. Yeah, good evening. How are you doing? I'm good. What's your name? I'm friends from um, Awera. Say, say that again? Hello, Your Prince? Uh, yeah, Prince coming from Awera. All right, Prince, good to have you on the show. Go ahead. Yeah, I was talking about um, the food cooking of them every day. Mm -hmm. like, from where I come from, my mom cooks every day. So okay. I keep eating fresh food. Like when I started helping was when I like I would say I eat overnight food. Mm. You hate like, you hate well, overnight food, huh? Yes, yeah, somehow. I so that that was that that is how I was trained. Every day, every night, my mom prepares a, a new food. So, hmm. I see. Okay. So, for me, like, are you married? I, 
Not really, sir. Not really. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah. When you marry, do you expect your wife to also cook fresh food every day for you? Mm, no. No? Be cooking every day. Because I will respect her own choice, but if you can make it as long as the money is there, mm. not her, but if she cannot cook every day, mm. okay. I'll have to. Okay. All right. Th- thank you so much. You know, some things are so weird to me because my mother was a banker. My father was also working. Um, so <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's odd for me to um, even begin to wrap my head around it. But I also know that my experience is not everybody's experience. But at the same time, my mother was able to rise up the ranks all the way to, um, uh, you know, management at her organization and the reason she could do that was because she could she could be out as late as the job required and my father you know would cook for us at home my father was a chief he would cook you know when my mother wasn't around and when i got old enough to cook i started to cook you know and it's 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 uh it's an interesting thing it really is but perhaps uh we'll, we'll take a look at this conversation again because uh I- away from men who prefer for their wives to cook fresh food every day for them there are men who prefer for their wives to cook their food so much so that they even when they go to a party they don't eat the food that is being made at the party that's right it has to be the wife that will go into the kitchen of whoever they are, wherever they are doing the party. So wedding or burial or birthday, the wife will go into their family kitchen and cook. Otherwise, they won't eat the food at that place. And I wonder what you think about that too. Next week, we'll have that particular conversation. I'm Sandra Ezekwesele. Let's talk about PNID next. Huh? This is Hard Facts on Nigeria Info. Only one station gives you great talk every day. On the show yesterday, you, you spoke about the tariff hike, electricity tariff hike. Yes. I'm hearing news today that it's being postponed till next year. City of Lagos, did I say it yesterday? I am a prophet. Hear the news and tell us your views. Congratulations once again to Liverpool. Um, despite the disastrous outing they had tonight. Your number one station for talk. You know, the need to give a guideline for organizations. Right. Yes, to implement, to reduce the spread of coronavirus in your group, in your companies. Here in N-Group, we've done 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk.